Embassies have been stormed. Flags burned. Condemnations issued. From Stockholm to Srinagar, the outrage has been massive and the reactions swift. This urgent debate is prompted by recent incidents of burning of the Quran, which is the core of faith for well over a billion people. As Quran burnings continue, first in Sweden, followed by Denmark, European leaders have issued their share of condemnations and criticism. Far-right groups in Copenhagen, the Danish capital, set fire to Quran outside the Egyptian and Turkish embassies. Turkey and Iraq immediately issued condemnations, while outrage erupted in the rest of the Muslim world. It has now turned into a battle between Islamic nations and a seemingly Islamophobic Europe. The clashes, meanwhile, continue over the defiling of the holy Islamic text. जो हाल ही में कुरान की बेहरमति हुई है स्वीडन में यह हम बिल्कुल बर्दाश्त नहीं करेंगे। The Muslim world has united against these burnings, and now Iran has called another meeting of the Organization of Islamic Countries. Even as Europe's hypocrisy is being called out, there are many who are questioning how these nations can allow racist and xenophobics to run riot in the name of so-called freedom of expression. Is this an attempt to provoke the world's Muslims? Well, we know from experience that attempting to ban such expression actually usually amplifies it further by bringing even more attention to it, and often serves as a catalyst for further hatred. Amidst all the drama, Iranian intelligence has come out with shocking claims in their investigations into these Quran burnings in Sweden and Denmark. Tehran claims that behind these provocative acts. There is the hand of Israel's legendary spy agency, the Mossad. The big question that arises is obvious: Why is Europe, a continent of nations, teaching the world civility, democracy, and secularism, hiding its provocative xenophobia in the garb of freedom of expression? These and other incidents appear. to have been manufactured to express contempt and inflame anger to drive wedges between people and to provoke transforming differences of perspective into hatred and perhaps violence both denmark and sweden say they deplore the quran burning protest but cite the laws of their land when it comes to stopping it on july 20th angered muslims stormed the swedish embassy in baghdad and immediately the narrative changed iraqi muslims were portrayed as unable to accept criticism of their religion but is hate abuse and vilification truly criticism far right groups in europe have taken it upon themselves to identify and highlight all the problems within Islam their method of expression burning a book considered holy by an estimated 24% of the world's population the world remains in flux there's a crisis brewing or already erupted in every corner of this green earth there's a war raging in ukraine civil conflicts in myanmar sudan pakistan afghanistan and many other nations There's China with its ever imperialist agenda and amidst all this there is Europe burning Qurans in the name of freedom of expression with the continued protests against Islam there are now concerns of another crisis being ignited